hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be drawing the isometric blowing gi given right on the screen so first of all we are going to be drawing a straight horizontal line in this manner please ensure it is a thin horizontal line then i'm going to pick my set square and make use of angle 30 degree that's my 30 60 degree set square making use of a thin line please also for this particular block you yeah, are making use of thin lines please then i'm going to draw another straight thin line at this ends like this then at the middle i'm going to draw a straight vertical line like that okay so now checking this drawing we have been given the length of this place to be 42 millimeter we are going to be starting right from here so we have been given the length to be 42 millimeter and this particular place to be 72 then the height is 12 millimeter so i'm going to pick the height at first 12 millimeter height then i'm going to pick 42 millimeter length towards this other side like this in this manner okay so using that 42 millimeter length i'm going to draw like this then at this place of 42 millimeter i'm going to draw my straight line upwards in this manner okay so now we have been given this particular place is 16 millimeter so I'm going to draw my straight line like this at this point, then at this point also, then I'm going to mark 16 millimeter. Please make use of thin lines for now. We are going to thicken it out when we are already like at the center in order to avoid mistake. So like this also at this particular place, I'm going to draw a straight line like this. Okay. So we have been given an height here of 30 millimeter. Because the total height is 42 and this particular height is 12. So 13 min, um, 42 minus 12, which is 30. So at this point, I'm going to draw a straight line like this. Upward like this. Then at this point also, I'm going to draw a straight line like this. Okay. So at this particular point, I'm going to pick 30 millimeter like this. Okay. Then I'm going to draw. I'm going to join these two points together in this manner okay so now we have been given this particular place to be six millimeter like this so i'm going to pick my 30 60 degrees a square draw like this then draw like this also then i'm going to mark what i'm going to mark six millimeter six millimeter at this particular point here six millimeter okay so using six millimeter on both sides because I'm using my T square so my T square and my set square so I'm going to draw like this at this point like this okay so now we are going to first of all be leaving this particular place alone let's move straight to this particular place of length 72 millimeter I'm going to pick 72 millimeter length at this particular place like this now draw a straight vertical line upward from this point in this manner now the length of this place is 12 so definitely this place length height 2 is also what 12 so i'm going to pick 12 millimeter in this manner 12 millimeter in this manner then i'm going to draw my straight line like this then at this point also i'm going to draw please ensure you are making use of thin lines please for this particular drawing now the length of this place is 16 and this place are having equal equal length as we can see from diagram so this particular place length also is 16 from diagram this place also is going to be 16 millimeter so at that point of 16 millimeter i'm going to draw my straight my straight line like this at this particular point okay so now this place also is six so i'm going to pick my set square making use of this place length that is continued here so i'm going to draw like this then i'm going to draw a straight line at this point also like this like this then i'm going to measure six six millimeter from this point so this is six millimeter like this at this particular point so i'm going to draw a straight line like this making use of my set square please you are going to make use of your set square 
so now this particular point also here is the one that is meeting at this particular place here so i'm going to pick my test square and draw a straight line at this point also like this so now we are going to move straight to this particular middle here so now we have been given the length of this place to this place to be 18 millimeter 18 18 so from this point i'm going to pick 18 18 millimeter from this particular point i'm going to pick 18 millimeter like this yeah like this so i'm going to make use of my c square and my t square then draw a straight vertical line please ensure it is very very thin very very faint line like this now we have been given another length of six millimeter after the 18 millimeter so i'm going to pick six millimeter from this particular point also six i'm going to pick another six millimeter like this like this then i'm going to what i'm going to draw a faint line upward also at this particular point a very faint line upward okay so now from this particular place of 18 millimeter where this particular 18 millimeter is stopping and where this 6 millimeter also is stopping we have been given an height of what of 20 millimeter so i'm going to pick 20 millimeter from this down not from the top from this down so i'm going to pick an height of 20 millimeter like this this is 20 millimeter okay so i'm going to draw my straight line in this manner like this like this okay which is representing this particular line here like this okay so from this particular place i'm going to be drawing a straight line to this place which is going to be like this from here i'm going to draw a straight line to this point here as seen in this particular place so i'm going to draw a straight line like this a faint straight line so let's first of all taking out this particular place so you understand the way the drawing ought to be like this let me take the part that is actually needed for now it's actually needed for you to understand it for now it's just taking it out okay so this part also is needed for taking out this part also like this okay so now from here from this at this point i'm going to pick my c square my c square and my t square then i'm going to draw a straight line making use of my c square like this so at this point where this line is stopping here i'm going to join it with this particular place here also in this manner like this then i'm going to draw so this is this particular place here then at this point also like this i'm going to pick my c square then draw my straight line in this manner then pick my c square and my t square making use of i'm going to make use of parallel lines i'm going to place the, my c square like this so parallel i'm going to drive it right up to this place then draw like this in this manner like this okay so it's, it's all to join it ought to join this this like this in this manner okay so i'll taking out this particular place like this why i'm taking it out is for you to have easy understanding of this particular block then at this point i'm going to pick my straight line and draw like this so this is this particular entrance here if you should calculate the angle between these two now it is angle 90 degree as given right on the block so i'm going to take in out the needed parts of the, the remaining needed parts this is the block we are asked to draw so i'm going to take in out the remaining needed parts of this particular block ensure you share this video with your friends and subscribe if you found value in this video thanks for watching peace I'll see you in the next.